I'm Emily from Training in Transit, and today we will be doing 10 minute legs, the lower body. Okay, if you have any knee, ankle, feet, hip injuries, or previous fold injuries, please keep that in mind after you do these exercises. Make sure you're tracking properly. If there's anything you shouldn't be doing, please don't do them. Alright, I'm going to entrust that you know good pain from bad pain because you're going to feel burning in the legs and butt today for sure. But we want to make sure it's a healthy pain. Alright, so please just keep that in mind as always when exercising. To go over tracking very quickly, you step one foot forward, for example, in a lunge. Okay, when you bend the knees, we don't want to drive the knee forward past the ankle. We want to keep two 90 degree angles. See that? Parallel, that chin parallel with the ground. Okay? This is what you're aiming for, not here, but here, lying with the ankle. All right, and when you go into a squat, you want to make sure the knees can stay in the heel. Again, don't drive the knees way forward past the toes. You want to avoid too much pressure in the front of the kneecap. With that, let's get started. We're on our mat. We've got our feet a little wider than hip width, and they can toe out slightly. We're going to do 20 body weight squats, arms going overhead. Exhale, drive the pelvis front. Keep the abs tight. Seven, eight, nine. That's ten. Ten to go. Getting the heart rate up a little bit. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hold the arms front. Interlace and reach. Pulse down. Ten. Abs tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up. Go to one side of your mat. Squat down, arms reaching front, and walk to the side. One, two, feet together, stand up. Sit back down. One, two, stand up, sit down. Reaching front, staying in your heels, hips sending back. Chest is up, abs are tight. Good. Be sure to stay low. The ceiling's right there, right? So we don't want to go up and down. No. Stay low. One more time each side. We only have 10 minutes, right? We're not doing a gazillion reps necessarily of everything. That's it. Grab your weights if you would like. Light weights if you're new. No weights. This has never been done for you before. Heavier weights for those who have trained for it. I start with 10 pounds when I'm in shape. Uh oh. And I go as far as 20 pounds per arm. So I'm feeling really good, okay? And some people will go higher if they train a lot, especially professional bodybuilders, okay? So, like I said, some people start with no weight and slowly build up. Alright, so we're going to go on just in the back of your mat. Chest is high, abs are pulled in, big step forward. And push it back. Keep the arms tight by your sides. Don't let them swing. Four. Five. Six. Ten times. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Stay. Stay. Hold down. One. Two. Three. Knees close to the ground. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. If you have weights, bring your front of your chest. You rotate, pulse down, one, stay. Rotate, pulse down, one, stay. Rotate, squeeze your buns. Pulse, four, down, pulse, five. You're beginning to feel that now, yeah? And six, seven, we're going to eight, and eight. Push back. Woo! Side number two. Here we go. Big step front. Shoulders back. One. Two. And three. Watch your knee on top of the ankle. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Whoopsie, I almost lost my balance. Stay down on ten. Three pulse. Ten. Nine. Eight. 
Nice and wide. Okay. We're on plie in ballet. Right? It's super wide, super open. It's not a sumo squat. Means your chest is up, your pelvis is under, hands to your sides. You pull down. Two, three, four, five, We have visitors. Seven, eight, nine. Stay right heel. to the floaters, eight, nine, switch heels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, shoulders are back, and ten, both heels up, hold it, sink a little lower, thighs press back a little more, drop your heels, shake it out for a second, we're going to walk. Walk your foot front like that. One. That's it. Four times. Now go back. One, two, three. Back front. It's two, two. We're doing eight. Back. Number three. Three. And then back. I told you we're going to fill your legs. Four. And then back. This is five. Oh, yeah. Burn, baby, burn. Six. Uh -huh. This is seven. Last one. I hope you're playing your favorite music right now because it's helpful when it hurts. Stay. And up. Okie dokie. Move your weights so they're out of your way. Come on down. Onto your back. We're working on that seat a little more. Feet underneath your knees. Hip bone distance apart, hands by your side, squeeze up. And two, three, and four. Let's flex the feet so you're on your heels now. Five. You're going to feel that in your seat a whole lot more. Seven, and eight, and nine. Watch your butt doing that. <laughs> Ten, stay there. Squeeze, pulse. One, two, three. Squeeze your butt. As hard as you can. Ah. Six. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Stay. Shoot your right leg out. Hold it. If that's easy, take your arms away. Hold five. Four. Three. Two. Put down. Hands down. Make sure you're lined up right. Flex the feet again. Shoot the left leg straight up. Shoot the arms up. Hold if you can. You can be here. Three, four, five. Heels down, hands down, hips down. Feet completely together. Open the thighs as you squeeze the butt up. Notice I'm kind of rolling to the outsides of my shoes. I roll out and squeeze up. Okay? Squeeze. Four. Long neck, shoulders are down and back. But abs are still pulled in. Stay here. Pulse it up. up. Squeeze the feet together. Right? Actively push the soles of the feet into each other as you're pulsing upward. You're going to get a whole lot more work out of it. And if you're going to do it and it's going to burn, you might as well do it right. Those abs are in. You're squeezing the feet together and you're pressing your thighs open all at the same time. Time. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Good. You're almost done, you guys. Train this leg away. Let's flex the foot. So you reach through your heel. If you need the help, your hands stay down. If you think you can do it with that, take the arms up. My foot I put flat now, but you can also do it here. 
You're gonna lift up. Open away. Squeeze in. Pulse up. One, two, out. Don't go too big. Keep the hips the same height. Three, up, up, four. We're only doing eight. Up, up, five, up, up, six. Are your hips level? Seven, up, up. One more time. Eight, up, up. Foot down. Second time. Open away. Bring it together. Pulse. Pulse. Try not to move your right leg. You're trying to move the left leg away. Two. Here. Without moving the right side. That's four, I think. Five. Out. Six. Out. Hip level. Seven. Eight. Up. Up and down. Woo! Hug your thighs into your chest. You've earned it. Okay, so that was one set making 10 minute legs. Yeah? Front of the thigh, back of the thigh, a little outer hip, a little inner thigh work. If you have it in you and you're really looking to get in better shape, repeat this again. Make it a second set. Repeat this a third time. You can go up to five times the same exercises we just did. You have killer legs if you do this five times through. I challenge thee. Thank you all so much for joining me. Again, my name is Emily from Training in Transit. And it's my pleasure to be showing you legs, feminine legs. Bye.